Hi, this is Nikki. If you've ever tried copying a formula, you'll know that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Well, this clip will show you how to make it work every time. The key is something called absolute cell references. Let's look at this example. Here, I'd like to work out the cost for each bit of equipment. So, I'm going to create the formula, press enter to accept it, and then use the autofill to apply the same formula to the rest of the column. As you can see, that worked perfectly. The cell references in the formula are relative, and they changed relative to how the formula moved, for example, down one each time. Let's try the next one to work out the VAT. This time, hmm, well, the answers just don't look right, do they? Now, lots of people work around this by creating the formula in each cell in the column. Not too bad with five items, but imagine if you had a hundred. So, let's work out what happened. As we move down, the cell references have also moved down. So, this second one is taking D5, that's fine, that's the printer cost, and multiplying it by E2, which is blank. The next one down has a similar problem. D6 is fine, but E3 is the VAT title. That's why we're getting that horrible value message. What's happened is that Excel has assumed that these were relative references. But, in fact, the 20% isn't relative. We want that one to be absolute. We absolutely always want E1 in the formula, even when we move the formula down. So, let's fix it. We always go back to the first formula, and we're going to click into the formula bar at the top to edit it. Now, E1 is the one we want to change, so we need to make sure our cursor is next to that. Then, we press F4 for dollars and more. Dollar signs will appear showing you that you've made it absolute. And more, because now, when we fill it down, as if by magic, the formulas work. And if we click into the last one here, we can see that those dollar signs have protected the cell references from change. So if it doesn't work when you copy a formula, you might need to work out which cell reference needs to be absolute. Then in the formula bar next to that cell reference, press F4 for dollars and more. That's all for now.